Alrighty, folks. So my producers have decided once again to torture me with TikTok videos. This time, it's all the woke feminists on TikTok. Oh, Lord, spare me. This video is sponsored by my friends over at ExpressVPN. You ruined everything, you stupid bitch. You ruined everything, you stupid, stupid. So, a few thoughts. One, so she, she's apparently singing about the fact that white women uh, voted in outsized percentages for Brian Kemp, which is good because Brian Kemp should have beaten Stacey Abrams, who's a grifter par excellence. And um, she spells white weird. I don't know why the I in white is now gone. It's W H Y T E. Why? Strange. Don't understand. Also, I feel like this song could be repurposed for about a thousand reasons. We may have to grab this song and we may have to use this in the future to introduce <laughs> segments. <laughs> I feel like the song is just vague enough that you could, they could, yeah. I'm not gonna mention where we would use this song. I'm just gonna say there are a lot of contexts where this might come up. I feel like the only person who thinks about this person this much is this person. I just told you who I thought I was. A god! Is this what women think that people think about them like all the time? I'm sure there are men who are bad who think about women all the time this way. But most of us have lives and people we care about and things to do like jobs. And we don't spend all day just watching one woman and then thinking all these different things about her. Do you also mean that people are judgmental about other people? Because it turns out that that goes pretty much every way. Turns out women are also quite judgmental about men and other women. I hate to break this deal, ladies. Very often, women are the ones who are the most judgmental. So this idea that it's just the innate evil sexism of men that is driving societal standards that force women. Judgmentalism goes all the different ways. And one of the ways it goes is from women to other women, actually. If there is one thing that I learned from my woman oh, no. and gender studies class that is on my mind 24 seven, it's kin keeping. Kin keeping is the root of stress in most women's lives and because they don't know the name for it, they're often called irrational. You might notice on a road trip, your mom's wondering, did everything get packed? Where is everybody? Has everyone eaten? What time are we getting there? When are we, when are we supposed to get there? Um, what was I supposed to bring? And you might notice your dad saying, calm down, why are you being so irrational? Everything's gonna be fine. Stop worrying so much. And it pains me to see this because this man doesn't see all the work that your mother has done because it doesn't have a name. He doesn't- Maybe you got rid of the old yee yee ass haircut you got. Kin keeping. It's the unpaid labor that women are assigned to subconsciously as a gender. And not only does this cause a lot of stress in women's lives, but it also breeds a lot of ignorance in men. Did your dad plan that vacation? Sometimes, yeah. Did he even get the presents underneath the tree that say from dad on them? Yeah. Does he know when your dentist appointment is? Yeah. Does he know what size pants you wear? Yeah. If not, who did that? It was me. I'm just saying. I know all those things. And my wife does a lot of stuff around the house. My wife does pack for the trips because she's very particular about how she packs for the trips. This idea that it's sort of like a gender stereotype that women pack for trips, Maybe the reason a lot of women pack for trips is because they have a particular way they pack for trips, and if the men do it wrong, then they get yelled at. I'm not going to say that's happened before. My wife is very detail-oriented. Now, is that because I'm being sexist that my wife is detail-oriented? No, she was detail-oriented before she ever met me. My wife's a very detail-oriented person. Does that mean that she is kin-keeping? What? I'm not blaming my wife for that. She's very, very careful about how she packs, and I do appreciate it. Also, when it comes time for the trip, I'm always looking at my watch because I know it's not going to, like, we just have different priorities on this stuff. Now, the way that people negotiate these sorts of gaps, that's what we call relationships. That's where love comes in and commitment 
and negotiation and all this. But there's a notion that women are inherently victimized because dad doesn't see the work. Dad definitely sees the work mom does. And most of the time he appreciates it. And sometimes he doesn't. And the other thing works as well. Sometimes mom doesn't see all the work that dad does. These are just human relationships. Can we stop giving them idiotic labels, please? Uh... Uh... What? What? Um, you know what? I'm grateful to this woman. What's a woman? Because she, th this is the outcome of full individualistic autonomy and authenticity, is it not? A complete reversion to the animal. There's actually a little bit of depth to this video. I don't just mean like the depths of the puddles of urine that this woman is now emitting onto the pavement. What I mean here is that like, what distinguishes human beings from animals is the fact that we do have commitments to one another. And when she says, free yourself from society, and then she proceeds to pull down her pants and pee on the sidewalk. Yep, I'm being what I want to be at the cost of everybody else without any sort of societal standards. Think of a society filled with people who poo and pee in the streets. Well, I mean, that's San Francisco, I suppose. We'll get to more of these crazy ladies in just one second. First, imagine that you go to a coffee shop and you open up your laptop and you're trying to read something good from Daily Wire and then you feel like, I ah, gotta hit the restroom. So you head on over to the restroom. When you come back out, one of these crazy people is just browsing through all of your material and leaving bad TikTok videos of themselves. That'd be horrifying, right? Well, why exactly would you give anyone control of your laptop, of your internet, of your data? You should not. This is why you should do what I do and you should use ExpressVPN. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, one of these weirdos could actually be grabbing your personal data. It doesn't take a genius to hack somebody. It took a genius to hack somebody. None of these people could do it, but it doesn't take a genius. All you need is the cheap hardware, and I use ExpressVPN to protect myself. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet, so hackers can't steal your data. They'll take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past that ExpressVPN encryption. I love ExpressVPN. It's incredibly easy to use. You know, I don't have to be super tech savvy in order to make it work. I hit one button, it downloads, I hit another button, it's good to go. Secure your online data today. Visit expressvpn.com slash benyt. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash benyt. Get three extra months for free. Expressvpn.com slash benyt. Hi, I specifically oh, no. based trauma and I have two relevant... So she got stupider over time. This. Let's talk about men who say, not all men. This behavior comes from three sources. First, this is a male pick-me behavior. Oh, I understand there are men out there who are acting in abusive ways, but I'm not one of them. I'm one of the good guys. That's a total delusion, by the way. In a patriarchy, everyone has internalized misogyny, sexism, and oppressive ways to treat women. That's why we all gotta unlearn patriarchal ways of behaving. Everyone's Number evil. Number two, the need to control women's voices. Notice how they are tone policing women. Far more than they are mad at those men who are abusing, harassing, and raping women. Who are giving the rest of the men a bad name. Wait, 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 hold on. Stop it right there. Stop it right there. Are giving the rest of the men a bad name. You just said they can't give the rest of the men a bad name. Men. You just said that's not possible. Because all the men are complicit. All the men are the products that you can't say not all men. Right? This is what she says. She starts off, you can't say not all men because it is all men. Because you've all internalized the patriarchy. Then she says, you are more angry at us than you are at the other men who are giving you a bad name. But you just said they can't give us a bad name. You didn't learn much at Harvard about like basic structures of logic. Number three, male superiority complex. This is relate to the male pygmy behavior. Oh, I understand there will be awful men out there like who will abuse and rape and harass you and oppress you, but I'm not one of them. If you depend on me to protect you from male violence, you'll be good. That instills in women a fear of independence, that the real solution to the male violence is another man. Oh, true, good way. luck with this. Seriously, good f***ing luck with this one. Her argument is that if a man says there are a bunch of bad men out there and they will harm you, and that one way to protect against bad men harming you is to have a good man nearby to stop the bad man. And you're like, nope, I am fully independent. So for most of human history, in nearly all societies, if you did not have a large male body protecting you, you were in serious and dire trouble. And this happens to be true nearly everywhere on earth right now, outside of the civilized West, where you still have a bunch of able-bodied men to protect you, they are called the police. There's only one circumstance I can, I'm aware of in which that is not true. And that is, unless this lady's a Second Amendment advocate. If she's a Second Amendment advocate, fair enough. She thinks women should pack and, and should be able to shoot guys who are threatening them. I'm all for that, I don't think she is. So what, is she gonna throw her Harvard Gender Studies degree at a man who's truly evil? Is that the plan? She's gonna take out that frame degree and just bash him with it? Boy, oh boy. Harvard is uh, making people stupider, year by year. The misogyny continues. Oh my God! 
And did you know that women are 1.7 times more likely to suffer adverse side effects of medications because the clinical trials used to determine the proper dosage were male-dominated trials? Because let's completely ignore the fact that men and women process drugs differently and have different metabolisms. So yeah, super great. Have you ever heard of the pink tax? It's not actually a tax, but it's a statistically higher cost for female marketed products that are identical to male products. For example, female clothes that are identical to male clothes on average are 10% more expensive. And little girls' toys compared to little boys' toys tend to be 5 to 13% more expensive. And this inflation of cost it, on average is um, estimated to cost women $1,300 a year for identical products just because they're marketed to women. These are just examples to show you how the world is designed to cater to men. So again, there's your male privilege. I know some of these words. About the drug testing, she's not wrong, right? About the drug testing, it is true that now all these pharmaceutical companies are starting to striate their testing by sex. Now, I will point out here, that the same people who are claiming that the world is a patriarchy also claim that sex should not be a genetic determinant of anything. You should be able to walk into your doctor's office and say you're a member of the opposite sex and be treated as a member of your opposite sex if you say that you are one. Pregnant people, pregnant people, pregnant people, pregnant people, pregnant people, pregnant people. Pregnant people. As far as the cost on female clothing, maybe the answer is because marketing costs for women are pretty high. Men don't shop for clothes in the same way that women do. Here's how a man shops for clothes typically. He walks into a store, he looks at a piece of clothing, he thinks about whether it might fit or not. He does not try it on. He buys it and he leaves. When you send your wife into Target, you should set up a tailgate outside because it's going to be a while. And women shop for things differently. And companies know this, which is why there is more of a market for women's clothing, which is why they charge more for women's clothing. The same thing happens to be true for girls' toys. I, I have two girls and a boy. They shop for toys completely differently. The way that my boy shops for toys is, is it a machine and does it have a battery? Does this thing have a button that does a cool thing? Service package. And so I walk into a store and I buy him a thing that has a button that does a cool thing. For my daughters, it's like, but is it pretty? Is it the right doll? Is this doll the brand doll? She's crying. Does this doll have the specific items that I need? They shop completely differently. Yeah, I love ignoring all the confounds when you look at overall stats like this. It's always fun. <laughs> Jeremy's Razors, available for 40% off today. Welcome to feminism. Uh oh, theater kid. Look around. Centuries uh -oh. of oppression. Now we really must break ground. We've had waves of liberation, but the tide's not yet in. If you think our fight's over, boy, where do I begin? I think those crazy eyes. Welcome to feminism. Come and take it. It's not a good song. Shall we start with the glass ceiling or harassment in the streets? The media is biased, even against our chests. Have any of you heard of the Bechdel test? This is, this is not good. To this is a bad song. I like the first song we did. Fight for women's rights or deny to curse. We're scrappy, we're daring, and bursting with rage. It's time that everybody got more engaged. Welcome to feminism. Send How long does this go on? Smaller crash test dummies and paid maternity leave. Our domestic labor should have value too. And we focus on intersectionality with medicinal women. That is awful. That's really bad. What I'm getting is that you need some form of employable skill set. If theater is your pick, lady, you are going, that is, wow. Wow. I would not pay her 77 cents on the dollar to write a song. That is, that is bad. That is some bad stuff right there. So here's the thing about feminists. Sometimes feminists make actually not horrible points about the world. There are bad men out there. They then proceed to take those decent points and beat them to death with a nine iron, set them on fire, and fling them into the ocean. And uh, that's how you end up with this garbage. This ain't it, girls. Can I say girls? This ain't it, women. Can I say women? This ain't it, people of feminine gender. Can I say it? I, I, I don't know. I've run out of words. Thanks, feminism. <laughs>